Well, I'm joined now by the CEO of Airbus Group, Airbus, the whole thing, and then Alan Belmer, President and CEO of Bombardier. Well, surprised seeing you both here today. Tom, you first. Um, what's this all about? Well, this is about teaming of uh, two great aircraft manufacturers, bringing two great uh, aircraft families together and uh, as you can see here if you look at the two uh, they almost look like twins right mm -hmm. or a little larger brother a smaller sister or something like that uh, as a matter of fact the the c series fits very very well with our uh, 320 family and it's a it's a world-class aircraft uh, and what we know now uh, is that it's not only certified customers love it i mean those who fly it uh, already so it's a perfect uh, teaming this is why we've done it and we think it's good news for airlines customers that are already potential customers or shareholders on both sides uh, that's why we call it a win-win we'll talk about synergies in a second but um, basically what's the market potential for this well, the market potential, I mean, uh, we have uh, various estimates, but let's say around 6,000 Six, aircraft, 6, I think, in that category, 100 to 150 seats. He's the expert, really, for, for, for that category. So, and with a superior aircraft like that, I think there is nothing that matches this one right now in the market. We should be able to catch 50% of it. And made in America? Made in Canada, and uh, for the US airlines, uh, we intend to make it also in, in America, because America is the single largest market. <laughs> One of the big issues was, I don't want to yes, one of the big issues, of course, is tariffs being imposed on foreign-made aircraft. This kind of resolves that issue, right? Tell me about that. Yeah, well, the assembly in the U.S. Uh, can resolve the issue because <laughs> then it becomes a, a domestic product and therefore a domestic product would not uh, have the import tariff applied to this. So, yes, I mean, that is one way to address that. Uh, having said this, uh, we are still fighting this Boeing petition because we believe it is unfair, unjustified, uh, and we will continue to proceed you know, with our defense uh, battle of that. How do you think they're going to take this? Well, I think that today is a great day. I mean, it's a great, a great strategic move. I mean, the product fit is great, as, as Tom said, very complementary with the 320 family. It's a big market. It's the best aircraft in its class. I mean, it's the latest, new, newest, innovative technology uh, in the 100 to 150 seat class. So there's no other aircraft like that. So when you combine this with the Airbus scale, reach, capability, I mean, it will unleash the full value of the aircraft. Therefore, I think that it will become a significant competitor in the marketplace. A year ago, would you both of you have thought this deal would have been possible? What was it that made it work? Well, you can reach together. <laughs> well, look, uh, I would say everything has its time. Uh, we talked some two, three years ago, and at that point uh, it was not the right time, so we, we decided uh, to stop the discussions at that point. Then Alain came on board, uh, the, the aircraft got certified. As I said, we got very positive customer, uh, customer reactions. And uh, so this was a perfect, perfect timing. All the stars, we're aligned, are aligned, and as we said, it's a it's a win for Canada and the employment there. It's a win for the, the UK, uh, Ireland. Uh, it's a it's a win for the US because we're going to invest additional money and we'll have additional employment in the US when we co-locate another fall uh, in Alabama next to our uh, fall in in Mobile. And I think it's a win for China as well because uh, Chinese content, content is, is, is very high. Yeah. Uh, and since we have a clear prospect now that we will sell thousands of these aircraft, I think uh, this is why we say it's a win for everybody. My last question, where, where did things go? Tell me the timeline from here now. Well, well now it's, we're getting into the approval process, so we're going through the antitrust process. It can, be, it can range from 6 to 12 months, so that's what we're going to be doing next. And obviously we need to manage our business, the business on our own in the meantime. I mean, there's no you know, gun jumping, so we have to be respectful of each other's businesses. So that's where, that's where we're heading. So, but we feel very good because, I mean, there's no product overlap on this. I mean, like I said, it's very complementary. It's a great strategic fit. So the product portfolio is going to be amazing. Customers, the feedback we're getting from customers is super positive. I mean, just within the past few hours, 
Tom has been getting call. I've been getting call. I mean, and they're they're really welcoming this because again, I mean, it's a great aircraft. But now you have like the scale of Airbus, you know, behind this. You have like their great sales and marketing network. I mean, their supply chain expertise. I mean, the aftermarket support that Airbus bring to the product. I mean, it's you really unleash the full value of the investment. So when you look at this for the approval process, customer feedback, customer reaction, very critical and so far it's going, it, so far it's very positive. Is it it's the only bad news for Boeing. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, as far as I know, they are not competing in the, in the uh, C-series uh, yeah. space. So I never really fully understood the attack on, um, on, on, on Bombardier. Uh, it's for them to decide, but I think uh, it's good news for America, it's good news for Canada and for, for all involved, the hundreds and thousands of suppliers and employees who've been hard working on the C-Series and who now get reinforced by those things that Airbus can bring to the table and Alain just alluded to that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a very nice layout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. You're right, though. It is like same, like it's the same, very same nose. Also. Same nose as the truck. We're at Prat. Okay, please, Paul. Yeah, it's only detection. It's only detection. No extinguisher. But you don't have brake fans. No, no brake fans. Okay. Thanks. No, I need a glass of champagne now. God damn it.